Hey cruisers, welcome on board beautiful brand new Sun Princess. Today I'm going to show you around our deluxe balcony. Now the deluxe balcony cabin is basically Princess's new naming convention for what we used to just call a standard balcony. But if you're looking to reserve a deluxe balcony, you are going to be so pleasantly surprised. There's wonderful features that are very high tech and very thoughtful built into the stateroom. And what we're going to do is take it nice and slow and show you all of those little details. Now, full disclosure, this is a solo cruise for me. So my husband is not with me, which means I don't have a microphone and I don't have the steady hand of my cameraman. So to compensate for that, I'm just going to take it as slow as I possibly can and speak as loudly as I can. So hopefully you can hear me. If you are going to be sailing on Princess soon, drop me a little comment. And also as we go through the room, if you see a feature in the stateroom that looks brand new to Princess and you're an experienced Princess cruiser, let me know that in the comments as well. I will show you the balcony. We'll show you the restroom, which has a very exciting new feature. We're going to get close-ups of the storage in the room and close-ups of all of the charging. So let's take a look around. This deluxe balcony is located on deck 14 forward on the port side of the ship. Each room has a digital display with your room number and name so you can easily find your stateroom. The first thing you'll notice is the full-size mirror on the right, and right by the entrance to the room, there's a cabinet that holds the life jackets on the top shelf. You could slide a small suitcase onto the bottom portion, but I found this to be a perfect spot for my hamper. Right by the front door, you'll find the main lights for the room and the newly redesigned closet, which we'll take a closer look at later. You'll notice the lights are activated by traditional switches and there's no key card slot to control the room's power. The thermostat is easy to operate and worked really well on my sailing. The couch is full size and very comfy and I love the sun artwork, which is a theme throughout the ship. There's a small coffee table that can easily be moved if you prefer to keep it out of the main walkway in the cabin. The lighting at the vanity can be turned on or off with a switch near the outlets on the desk. And there's plenty of shelf storage here as well. There's a European outlet and standard plug here. and a full selection of charging and power options on the desk. There's another European plug, more AC power, two USB plugs, and two USB-C plugs as well. What's inside this drawer is the most unexpected new feature in this cabin. This is a full-size dry bar hair dryer. If you were considering bringing your own hair dryer on board, this may change your mind. If you want to use this drawer for something else and move the dryer to another area, it's not tethered to a plug in the drawer. Just beneath the drawer, there's a mini fridge that kept my bottled water extra cold all cruise long. Now, Princess placed vents in the cabinet that holds the fridge, which likely prevents these from overheating. It's pretty genius, actually. There's a modern looking and comfortable leather chair at the vanity, as well as two drawers that are nice for storing paperwork, and makeup, things you might want to access while you're sitting at the vanity. Continuing on the ultra cozy princess luxury bed. If you know, you know.
There's a single drawer, lights, and more standard USB and USB-C outlets. I plugged in a 3-in-1 charger here for my iPhone and Apple Watch each night and it worked perfectly. There's also an adjustable reading light on both sides of the bed. The other side has the same features. You may be wondering if all the staterooms have the same configuration on Sun Princess. The couch bed configuration actually alternates, so in some rooms, the beds are by the balcony, and in others, the couch is by the balcony. I love the flat screen TV, and it's totally out of the way. It doesn't take up any space in the room. Let's take a look at the redesigned closets. The frosted glass looks even more beautiful in person, and the closet is large and really well lit. I love that the lights come on when you open the closet door. The robes and slippers are ultra plush and come in handy on chilly mornings. There's lots of shelf storage on this side of the closet. And on my sailing, the beach towels were right here in the closet on boarding day. Past the glass doors, there's more shelving and a push button safe. Beneath the safe, three large drawers, which opened and closed smoothly. On the inside of the restroom door, there's two hooks for hanging your robes, towels, or toiletry bags. There's three large shelves above the sink and more storage beneath. The Beekman hand soap and lotion dispensers made the cabin feel elevated, and it was nice not to have to deal with messy bar soap when washing my hands quite possibly the most talked about element of the sun princess bathrooms the glass shower doors no more sticky shower curtains inside the shower there's a shaving bar and lots of room to move you'll find a clothesline full-size pump bottles of beekman shampoo conditioner that's right i said conditioner and body wash the shower head is adjustable and had great water pressure Now let's take a look at the balcony. There are two chairs and a small side table and the balcony is fully covered. Now the chairs here don't recline. There's a really nice view of the bridge wing from this balcony as well as the decks below. And you can actually go up above the bridge on this ship. It's pretty cool. That is it for our tour of this deluxe balcony. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a comment down below if you saw something different or new in this video. I'd love to hear from you. Also, let me know if you are going on Sun Princess and be sure to head over to Instagram to check out our saved highlight on Sun Princess. We've saved lots of little mini videos, kind of like little mini vlogs over there. Just go to instagram.com forward slash cruise tips TV and look for the little bubble that says Sun Princess. I'll also link to it down below. We also have a Mediterranean cruise packing list video and a packing list on our website for you. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy your cruise on Sun Princess. And until next time, I'll see you on the high seas.